Title of this study, Comparative Evaluation of Methods for the Detection of Biofilm Formation in Coagulase Negative Staphylococci and Correlation with Antibiogram. The authors are Dr. Lok Bahadur Shrestha, Dr. Narun Raj Bhattarai, and Dr. Basuda Kanal. Affiliated to Department of Microbiology and Infectious Diseases, BP Koyala Institute of Health Sciences, Taran, Nepal. Introduction Coagulase negative staphylococci are normal commensals of human skin and mucous membranes. The objective of this study was to determine the prevalence of CNS among clinical isolates, characterize them of the species level, compare the three conventional methods for the detection of biofilm formation, and study their antimicrobial susceptibility pattern. Methods Coagulase negative staphylococci were obtained from various clinical samples including blood, urine, central venous catheter tips, endotracheal tube aspirate, and pus during the period of one year, that is 1st July 2014 to 30th June 2015. Characterization of the species level was done using biochemical tests and biofilm formation was detected by tube adherence, congruid agar, and tissue culture plate method. Antimicrobial susceptibility testing was performed following clinical and laboratory standard institute guidelines. Results A total of 71 CNS isolates comprising 7 species were obtained. Staphylococcus epidermidis was the most common species followed by Staphylococcus saprophyticus and Staphylococcus hemolyticus. We detected biofilm formation in 71.8% of the isolates. Considering tissue culture plate method as gold standard, sensitivity of tube adherence method and congruent agar method was found as 82% and 78% respectively. The isolates exhibited high resistance towards penicillin that is 90%, azithromycin 60%, cotrimoxazole 60% and ceftriaxone 40%. All the isolates were susceptible to vancomycin and linezolid. Biofilm farmer isolates showed higher resistance than non farmers Conclusion Among 71 CNS isolated, Staphylococcus epidermidis was the most common isolate followed by Staphylococcus saprophyticus and Staphylococcus hemolyticus. Biofilm formation was detected in 71.8% of the isolates. All the methods were effective in detecting biofilm producing CNS strains. The antimicrobial resistance was significantly higher in biofilm farmers than non farmers. Keywords CNS, congruent agar, blood stream infections, foreign body related infections, and tissue culture plate. Thank you.